are we are at the La Quinta Inn in Evansville, Indiana. First impressions. Hallway don't look bad, but it's it stinks. Oh, first impression. I saw him in the bathroom. This is the La Quinta Inn in Evansville, Indiana. I believe, I think this is a two and a half star, maybe three rating on, I think two and a half star rating, two and a half star hotel. There we go. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Not very. Curtains. Window AC unit. The wall AC unit. I don't know if you can see, but the little sheer curtains are also dirty. Again, this is a Laquinta Inn. This is a uh, one king size uh, suite. It looks nice. Let's see if we got any stains. Any stains? Any any hoppers? No. Okay, it's a nice TV setup. I do like the um, colors, you know, it looks kind of modern, but I will say the, the, the floor is like a little cheap vinyl floor. Um, not too thrilled with that because I know that they don't mob like they're supposed to and some spots on the floor is sticky. So a little fridge, it's your microwave, little closet. By the door. Down there. Um, here's the bathroom. The toilet looks pretty clean. It is. It's very small. Very, 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 very small. Like low, low to the ground. Sink, um, towels. You have towels there. Um, not bad. It's not bad. Bathroom. You got the tub. Shower. So this stuff looks clean. I do like this though. I'm, this is this is something I do like. The soap. It is like real soap. I can't stand hotel soap. It's all oily, but they actually have real soap, which is a plus. But other than that, people, here you have a first impression. Um, the ceiling looks nice. I think somebody got a little wiping you on the wall here. Ugh. But, oh well, there you have it. First impression, Laquinta. The La Quinta Inn in Evansville, Indiana. All right, it's checkout time from the La Quinta um, Inn and Suites in Evansville, Indiana. Um, it's right off the right off 69, so it's a good location off of the highway if you're traveling and you need to, you know, rest for a night, or if you're just in town visiting. Um, after the stay, some of the things that I did not like, I didn't like 
the odors, the smells of the room in the hallway. It smelled like somebody sprayed um, air freshener or put some um, room incense or whatever in to try to cover up the smell of smoke and the smell of dogs, like all throughout the hallways in my particular room. And you, I, I couldn't get over that. Um, the beds were nice. They were, they were comfortable. Pillows were comfortable. Um, they're clean. It, it was clean. Um, the bed was. Um, I mentioned about the floors earlier. The floors were dirty. We took some uh, some Lysol wipes and wiped the floor, and it was it was it was pretty dirty and sticky. So, <sighs> continental breakfast. That was that was about the standard breakfast that you would get at any hotel. Um, that offers continental free breakfast. The shower was cool, the bathroom, everything in the bathroom was cool. Uh, wasn't a fan of the towels, but I mean, we are talking about a two and a half star uh, hotel. So, um, did not like the, the towels. They were, um, a lot of them had, still had stains. They were clean, but they still had stains on them. You know what I mean? And so another thing that I liked um, was each on each side of the bed they have nightstands but um, both nightstands had plug outlets on it with the USB um, optional plug-in two USB optional no, yeah two USB optional plug-ins and two actual AC DC plug-ins on both nightstands I really like that um, a lot of times when you get a hotel, it's only on one side, so you're stuck with everybody trying to charge, try, trying to charge their devices on that one side of the, of the bed. So I really like that. That was a plus. Now the big question is, would I stay here again? No, that would not be my first choice. If nothing else was available, I would stay here again. But uh, again, that's uh, that's up to you. I just show you and report to you, and you make that decision for yourself. So, I'm Mo, and I got the go. Peace.